Hi guys, I'm going to do a shopping haul. Uh, right into it and I'll start with makeup I think will be a good one. And I popped to Bista Village last Saturday, last weekend. And they have like a uh, cosmetics company shop there that gives you the discount. Because Bista's a designer outlet so you get a lot of money off things if you do choose, if you do go there. And they have a MAC, they do some Bobbi Brown stuff, they have like Estee Lauder, so they have some good high-end brands there. So I popped into the cosmetic shop when I was there and got some MAC bits and bobs. I got two, four shadows actually. These two were just in the single pot. I've got this one which is called Night Divine, which is a really nice, you can see, a nice grey colour. Be nice with sort of smoky eyes. I got this one, this is a greeny colour, three ringed yellow, which is like a yellowy green, which would be really nice for spring, summer, so I like that colour. And then I got this little duo quad, um, it doesn't actually say the names of them on the back, if you can see that, it doesn't really say, but I don't know, I think they're quite creamy. This one's quite grey and that's quite like a compared to Smog by um, Urban Decay which is very, very nice. I'm looking forward to, to using all of these. And then I went and got this mineralized skin finish blusher in petticoat, it's called. And it's quite a nice summery tone. It's got like the goldy bits in and all the other lighter pink cool colors, which are quite nice. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy using these. And I also picked up my first pair of lashes by MAC. These are 33s. They look pretty cool. The strip on here on the inner bit looks super thin so that looks really handy and I know some people have told me about MAC lashes but I've never invested in any so these were or like a discount so they were cheaper than if I was to all of the stuff that was obviously from MAC would have been cheap was cheaper where I got it than if I'd bought it in the MAC store so I just picked up a few of those bits I've also um, finally bought one of the Real Techniques brushes I haven't actually used it yet it's really quite bad but um Everyone was talking about how great they are, but over the past couple of weeks, like, this is a stippling brush, but over the last couple of weeks I've been using my hands to apply my foundation. I used to use my hands, then I went to my Sigma Kabuki brush, and now I bought this and thought, yeah, I have to start using this, because I've just gone back to using my hands in the mornings and stuff, but I've heard really good things about this, so I'm looking forward to using this more. And I bought some lipsticks when I was out also. A few weeks ago, I got this L'Oreal Paris, um sheer lipstick it's called it's in red rebel it's quite a sheer i did like i've got a blog post on some of the items like the mac items i bought from bista and then i did some makeup items i bought recently this is in that and it's quite a sheer red just to show you, let me show you how sheer it is it's quite sheer but it gives you a really nice effect and i love red so this would be a great one if you just want something on your lips but you might not want to go for the evening red or the deep red and I think for spring it'll be really, really nice because it's really, really moisturising on your lips. I've got um, MAC Cherry Pencil on my lips at the moment and I've just put this on top to like moisturise it because I find them getting a bit dry today. But I also invested uh, in this number 17's Beehive. And this is quite sheer also. I'll swatch this one, but I don't know if I'm in love with it yet. I don't know if it's just my complexion, but I find it doesn't really do much for me. I'm going to move on then to some clothes I've bought recently. This has sort of been uh, something, a couple, this, this has been sort of gathering for the past few weeks now, so it's not all that I've went out and got in one day. But I bought a little t-shirt from New Look in the sale. It's quite nice, it's like a stippled, let me show you the material, it's like that flecky grey colour, if you can see there. It's got a little pocket in the front, it's quite big, but it also dips in the back, so it's bigger in the back than it is in the front, and I just thought for summer that would be quite nice to wear and have on, and it's quite light, so if you had some high-waisted shorts or high-waisted je high jeans, I thought that would be quite a cool look to be wearing. I also went and got this, um, oh, let me hold it up, this H&M uh, vest top from H&M, it's like a netted sort of just cro crocheted netted I don't know I'd say knitted white vest which is quite nice and light and it just goes really really long so I think this would be great for when you're on holiday like under your bikini or something over your bikini sorry and um yeah it would be nice as like a cover up for that but um 
yeah, I thought this was really nice. I went to Forever 21, maybe January now, February time, and just got some vests, which are pretty boring, so I'm not going to show you those. But I did get this, which is quite a nice, like, tie-dye, tie-dye, I'd say maybe, effect. But it's grey, very, very nice and light. I like this. And it's sort of, because it's the V-neck, you can really, like, wear it over one shoulder and have, like, if you've got, like, a vest underneath or something, have it hanging over it. But it's quite loose and just light and I think it's quite nice and another grey colour I went into Topshop and bought another one of these I've got the grey, the red and the white so I thought oh, I might as well just finish a little collection by this one as well I think it's quite a nice colour with the purple and the black so it looks nice with some black jeans or it looks nice with just navy jeans so I've really liked wearing this I've worn this a good few times now but I like these shop, uh, tops that Topshop are doing I've been on the hunt for a little black jumper just to wear like under shirt over shirts and um been looking all but sort of a lightish one I don't want like a wintry one because we're coming in spring now so I didn't want anything too heavy so I ended up buying this from Henny's which is another it's quite big it's really really big actually and it's quite long in the arm no, it's like three quarter length of the arm and it's quite just light nice over a shirt or maybe a dress, maybe a dress, I'd maybe put a dress with it, so it's quite a nice little black jumper to wear or just an essential to have in your wardrobe really I think, so I've liked that, and then my final splurge was when I was at Bista, and I'm sort of having second thoughts about buying it, I've been after a gym jacket for ages, and I went to the Levi's store, and they only had dark denims, and I sort of wanted a light one, so I was just walk walking past True Religion, and I thought oh let's have a look in there, so I popped in, and tried on this humongous man size denim jacket and I like the way it's got the pockets you can see there I don't know if I'm showing this very well but and it's like I got suckered in with the buttons because the buttons have got like paint on them where are the buttons I see here it's got like a green button there you've got a white and red one one with green and red and I sort of went back to the shop maybe three or four times, tried it on, took down the details, and I left and was trying to find it everywhere, couldn't find it anywhere. Went back and sort of said, oh, I really do like it, but it's, it was quite a lot of money. And the lady was like, oh, well, it's Japanese denim, and they're all individually handmade, and da-da-da, and they're all individual. No, none of the jackets look the same, and I was completely like, oh, okay, I've got to get it then. If no one else, if none, they're not the same as any other jacket, <laughs> I've got to buy it. So I was completely suckered into that. But I do like it, but it just was a lot of money, and I'm like, oh, I could have just maybe bought a second-hand jacket and customised it to what I want. But I'm sort of still thinking about it. I might possibly sell it if I don't get much wear out of it. But I'm seeing how I go. But I do actually, I did genuinely like it, and that's why I tried it on. But I'm just sort of having a little bit of buyer's remorse. Uh, a couple of other bits I did buy were some sunnies, some sunglasses. I popped to Zara, and I got these ones which I think were quite cool I don't know if you can see they've got like yellow arms and like a turquoisey colour here I think they're quite cool for summer and I love I think I'm a bit of a sunglass addict every time I see a pair of sunglasses that I like or go to a shop and I haven't bought anything in the shop if they've got a good selection of sunglasses I always think I have to buy them I don't know it's quite weird maybe some sort of addiction and I've got these other pair from Topshop when I was up there good this was like January when I bought the Forever Fit 21 stuff as well. And these are quite cool. They're a bit like, I don't know what you could class them as. I don't know what the actual name are. I think Ray Ban do a similar colour, but they were super black, so you can't. I don't think people can see your eyes, which I like. So so you can't see if you're rolling your eyes at someone and they're annoying you, which I think is quite cool. But they sort of remind me of like a Harry Potter on holiday style glass style glasses, which I think are quite cool. They're just a bit different. I wouldn't usually ever go for a circle. Uh, circle sort of style but I just really liked them and thought I'd grab them so I got those I got a couple of pieces of jewellery to show you just some rings from Topshop that I saw in the sale a good few weeks ago now got this one which is like a bluey you can see there bluey colour with like a black bit in the middle I think it would be quite nice on nights out or something I got this one that's pretty popular it's quite old now I suppose a lot of people have seen with this just the eye which is quite massive actually and it does stick out quite a lot and you I found I catch it on things so I sort of stopped wearing this but it looks pretty cool and then I got another one I got this grey one as well which looks quite nice I don't want to swear 
but I got this grey one. And I got a cream one as well and gave that to my sister, so this is quite cool. And they were all £1.50, I think, so that was a bit of a bargain. And I bought some earrings from Topshop also. They're sort of uh, um, aztec -y style. I'll just call it an Aztec style triangle. And they're quite nice with your hair up or with your hair down either way. But these are these ones. I think they're quite pretty. I'll show you the design on them. They just got like triangles and squares. I'd say it's like an Artex y style triangle, which I really, really like. And I think they were about six pounds maybe. <clears throat> but I don't really buy I don't usually buy top top jewellery unless it's in the sale because I just think I get annoyed because I really like it and then it like goes mouldy because it's obviously just costume jewellery and I get like, ugh, I shouldn't have bought it. But never mind. And then I also, when I was in Vista, went into the Ralph Lauren home store and got some diff room diffusers because I've got a ton of candles in my room but I have um, animals, I have like cats and dogs. So I get a bit scared of leaving candles with, when I leave a room, the cats are silly and they're just going to go stand near it in their tail or whatever, it's going to burst into flames so these are the room diffusers which are let me get out of the box to show you the room scents that you just put in and then you get let me show you I should have taken this out really the little sticks and you put them in there and all the smells come out and I just thought the uh, actual glass jar was quite nice with the RL and I'm not a big Ruffle on fan I don't really buy much things from there, but they were a tenner each. So I got this one in Cottage, I think it's called, this blue one here in Cottage. And I smelt it. Let me smell it now. It does smell. I don't know if I can open it. Yeah, you can smell it through that looking. It smells really nice, actually. Quite like a soft floral scent. And then I got Island, which was quite nice. But I know I used to love Ralph Lauren. Lo is it Ralph Lauren? Just Ralph. Their perfume, the blue one, which is really nice, and one of these smells just like that. So I thought, oh great, I have to get this. Let me get out this one. Ugh. And this is called Island, but I just think even once these are finished, I don't know. And I couldn't really store anything in them, but I just think them as like I could refill them maybe with something else. But I just think the actual bottle's quite nice to have in your room. But let me I think this is the one that smells. No, it just smells really tropically and holiday like a holiday smell, which I think is quite nice and get you into the holiday mood, maybe. So I think that's almost it. The final thing I got was when my mum went to a um, country living sort of exhibition show the other day and picked up some creams. And she said it was quite expensive, but said it was uh, for really good for hydrating dry skin. This is a Canuck Can London Can Kanuki oil um, body lotion and she also got the body balm so I think I'm going to do like a little review on it because she said for me to try it out because I don't suppose my skin is super dry at the moment but I think that I love the idea of a little wonder balm like just something little that you can just have in your bag or have on you because it's quite small but it's like a miracle balm that does everything so it's moisturising your lips, your hands, your body, dry patches, anything, your elbows so I sort of think these are really great ideas to just have on you because they're small and just convenient I really really am looking forward to investigating how whether this is good or not really but the cream I tried to make the cream last night my mum put some in and I tried some and it does smell just really luxurious and lovely which I think is always a good one it just smells really mature and just really nice so I, if it's if the balm is going to go by the cream I think I'm really really going to like it so that is pretty much it that I brought on my travels and my trips. But um, I think I'm going to do some more vid uh, makeup videos. I haven't really done any for the past couple of weeks. I need to get back into the swing of things. But I've got a different background at the moment. I'm in my bedroom. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I was really going to ramble on and say then. But, um, yeah, this is just a little review of some of the things I've bought over the past couple of weeks, what I've been doing. Oh, and finally, actually, I'm going to try and see and try and insert a picture. I've never done that before, but I'm going to give it a shot of my new bike I've got. I've got this wonderful Pashley bicycle that's amazing. It's been really nice the past couple of days in London. Um, so I've been using it cycling and I'm going to be doing the London to Brighton, which is going to be pretty difficult, I think. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So I'll in try and insert a picture of my bike because it's huge and... I don't, I don't really want to, I can't bring it in here, but I'll show, I'll insert a picture. Apart from that, um, that's all I've got to really show. So I hope you're all having a great weekend and enjoying the beautiful sunshine because it's absolutely amazing in London. And all take care and I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye.